Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be revisiting the Nymphia eyeshadow palette. This gorgeous, beautiful quad or quartet that came out I think about 20 years ago now. So it's definitely a vintage eyeshadow palette. This was my very first eyeshadow palette that I ever purchased from Chanel. It is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous palette. It is well loved. I thought why not um, pull this out and do a look with it today. And do you still have this palette? The formula hasn't changed. I will do some swatches. They still feel so buttery. Really, really beautiful. So I haven't got anything on my face today. Um, I'm going to be starting off with just doing a full face of um, foundation, maybe some contouring, bronzer, blush, and then we'll jump in, prime the eyelids, and apply the eyeshadow. So, so the first thing that I'm going to be using is the Bare Minerals Rescue Complexion Foundation. I'm in the shade 5.5 Bamboo. And put this over... I have a damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to tap that in. This eyeshadow quartet or quad is just simply elegant. I remember when I first bought it, I was, I think may have been 18. Yeah, that's a long time ago. I was so excited because I'd never had a Chanel eyeshadow before and I was coming back from a trip and I remember I purchased, purchased it um, on the aeroplane while I was descending back to Sydney. Yeah, it was just a very exciting time. So just a light coverage of the uh, Complexion Rescue over the face. Now going in with concealer, I'm just using the NYX Concealer Bear With Me Serum. I'm in the shade Vanilla, under the eyes. And with the same Beauty Blender, just going in and dabbing that out. So just going to decide what kind of shades to use i'm thinking this beautiful peach color in the crease this all over the lid outer corner and highlight the brow bone and the inner corner of the eye i'm going to be using the nyx shadow and liner eye primer and i'll just put that over the lids okay and now that the eyes are all primed we can move on with applying the eyeshadow. I will then put some bronzer on and some blush, um, just in case there's any fallout. But um, yeah, so let's go in and use this gorgeous palette. I will be starting off with the peach shade and I'm gonna be putting that into the crease. I'm using a Sunna G mini booster brush. And this shadow is still brand new, like it hasn't dried out or anything. It's just very like how I remember it was. I'm just building that up a little bit more. So I'll just do the one eye and then I'll do this off camera and show you the completed look so that's the gorgeous peach shade there okay, going in with the mint shade or the melon shade just using a Inglot 9s brush going into the green shade there which is that beautiful 
melon color. I'm just putting that all over the lid. And with a different brush, it's a Lily and Lolo pencil brush, just dipping into the cocoa shade. I'm just going the outer corner. Just to deepen that outer corner. Just doing sort of a the outer V and blending it in with the green. And lower lash line and just angling that up to meet the outer corner of the eye there. Now with a different brush, highlighting beautiful shade there and that's going to be our brow bone highlighter and inner corner highlight. Highlight the brow bone. That's the complete look there. So what I'll do is I'll be back with, obviously I'll have my eyebrows done. I will have some mascara on. What I just remembered was we haven't completed the lower lash line. So as I was doing my second eye, I just remembered, hmm, we still got to do the lower lash line, complete that. So I'm going to be dipping in with the peach shade there, lining the rest of the lower lash line there. So I'm back with the eyes all done. So now that the eyes are all completed, now it's time to move on to doing the rest of the face. I'm just using the Milk Makeup Bronzer, the cream bronze, and just putting that on and blending that out with my Sephora, I think it's a 56 brush, no it's a Models Prefer brush this one, great for cream products. And this is such a lovely bronzer, blends well, it's a great tone. And for blush, I'm going to be using the cream blush by Tower 28 in Magic Hour. It's a beach please. Just using a different brush, just the e.l.f. precision brush. Placing that directly over the bronzer and middle of the, well, sort of the apple of the cheek. And now I tend to go quite heavy handed with blush. Beauty Blender, you can just go in with the foundation and basically dab out, or sort of dull down the blush a notch. But I like my blush to be quite bright. Bit on the nose, Beauty Blender, just dab over that. And now that we've completed the blush and we've got the bronzer down, we can move in with highlight. One of my favorite highlighters because it just dries down so quickly is the Westman Atelier Impesta Rose. And we're just gonna go in and put a little bit of that on top of the cheekbones. A little bit down the center of the nose, tip, and the remaining just on the chin. So now that we've completed the highlighter, all that's left is the lips, and I'm not going to be using any lip liner at all. I'm just going to be using two different shades, Moody Margot by Marc Jacobs and Charlotte Tilbury 
in the shade Super Cindy. So going in with Super Cindy first, just on the top lip and then Moody Margot on the bottom. And guys, that completes the look for today. I knew I wanted to play with this and pull it out. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you have it, I encourage you to use it. The shades are still absolutely in excellent mint condition. Just can't believe it's been 20 years or more since this came out. And it's just absolutely wonderful. Now, obviously this is a palette that you wouldn't be able to still get unless someone is selling it somewhere privately. I, I really don't know, but uh, yeah, this is, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I really do hope that you enjoyed this little video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.